What's up everyone, welcome to Zplex and in this video I'm going to be teaching you about how you can get a space inside C drive taking space from another drive and applying it on our C drive. So as you can see there is a less space inside my C drive and as we compare from D to E drive I have more space inside my E drive so I'm going to take the space of E drive and bring it inside my C drive so I will get more space inside my C drive so I can go ahead and install more of the software and make my computer a little more faster. So let's just go ahead and let me teach you how we can do that. So for that I'm going to go ahead and close this one and here I'm going to go inside start this PC I'm going to right click on it more and then manage. Okay. So here it's going to open up this window. All you have to do is click on this management. As, as you can see there is loading right over here and here is a C drive that says 540 GBs and here is less space. As here you can see it is somewhat 2000 or 300 somewhat space inside but here you have a lot of the space inside my E drive. So I'm going to go ahead and click on shrink volume so it's gonna load for a bit and let me just go ahead and give it like one and shrink it so I'm gonna go ahead and get an allocated place so I have to keep it on side my C drive so here you can see there's extend volume but it's not available as you can see there is no extend volume available but here if you see extend volume is available because unallocated space is right over here now allocated space is available then you have to shift it on P drive and then on C drive so next up what we have to do is go ahead and move it inside our C drive beside C drive so how we can do that there is no way we can do it with windows for that we have third party application which is available on which is available on internet and I will add the link in the description so if you want you can go ahead and follow that out so you have to go ahead and download this one after it has been downloaded you have to go ahead and install it as you know the simple process of next next except I agree and so on after it has been downloaded after that you will get an icon on your desktop all you have to do is open it up click on yes which will give you a pop-up then launch application As you can see the application is launched now unallocated is available right over here so for that I'm going to go ahead and click on my C drive and you can see resize move partition so I'm going to go inside D drive resize move partition then you can go ahead and move it like that and when you click on OK it is going to ask you do you want to apply this changes you have to click on apply and it's gonna change but right now there is no space given here so I'm going to go ahead inside my E drive recycle space and move it right over here and then hit OK so as you can see it has moved it inside E drive right click on it move it move it like this hit on OK and there you have it you have moved unallocated space inside my C drive now all you have to do is click on that and move it like that and hit OK so after you hit OK, it is going to ask you do you want to apply this change, you can go ahead and hit on apply and it is asking you that you have to change, you have to click on yes. I'm not going to do that because I already have some space and also if I'm going to go ahead and hit on no because I don't want to do that but when you click on that it is going to ask you do you want to restart it, you just have to click on yes and it is going to give the process of that and at the end of the restarting of your computer you will definitely have some space right over here that's all for this video i'll see you guys in the next video if this helped you out just make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and I'll see you guys in the next video my name is Mr. and i'm sonia